All right, so what I want to dive into in this video is this is something that I've been talking a lot about with my partner. And it's very interesting because here's what I've been understanding about myself more recently, and that is that the emotions that I grew up with, these emotions are trying to kind of like, it's weird to say emotions are trying to do something specific, but I feel like the emotions are trying to keep me inside of specific ways of living. And specifically, like, what I'm looking at is worth, right? Um, when you don't grow up with, you know, a high sense of self-worth, right? When you, all right, literally, when you grow up with belief systems that you are a worthless piece of shit who doesn't deserve anything good, you're going to live your life in a very specific way. And you're not going to go after, you know, creating the things that you want to. And it's just, it's, it's a very, it's a very interesting kind of dynamic and the way that it affects your life is very serious. And so, um, not here to say that I grew up with belief systems that had me believing that I was a worthless piece of shit who didn't deserve anything good. Um, but I know people that did. And it's like, when you look at that, when, when you are fed these beliefs about yourself, from a very early age growing up, when you're so vulnerable, when you're so young, when you literally can't tell the difference between this and that, when you don't know what anything is, you believe everything, and so you live based on that. And what you don't consciously change, you choose, and that's recycled, and that just continues to go from from you know from past to future, past to future, and it's just the same thing over and over again. So what I'm coming to see now is that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm challenging the belief systems that I've had growing up my entire life. And it's actually very uncomfortable because there's been comfort in... Here's the crazy thing about belief systems. Even if it's not beneficial for you, even if it's not productive, there's still comfort there. There's still a sense of familiarity. So when you don't challenge those things, when you don't change those things, they stay there. And they continue to mess your life up in very serious ways. And so what I'm finding for myself specifically that's very interesting is that as an emotion comes up or just even consciously looking at emotions that I felt, I'm like, I don't want to carry that into my future. And it's actually challenging to challenge that. <laughs> it's very challenging to kind of like approach things from the standpoint of, yeah, I don't need you anymore. Because there's kind of like a dying out and almost to some extent kind of like a grieving again like these things might be might be like emotions that you know are not beneficial for you but because there's that kind of you know it's just it, it's very interesting the dynamic of kind of like letting go of emotions that you know don't serve you anymore to move into here, here's something that I've been learning lately I've been learning to stop telling the story of my past and to start telling the story of my future. As much as and even more so than I used to tell the story of my past. And I just think it's very interesting. I used to tell the story of my past so much. So what is that doing? That's just continuing to rewire the same circuitry that's already there, keeping you inside of the same um, experiences, keeping you inside of the same thought processes, right? Same personality, essentially. And I just think it's very interesting because like, in the pursuit of, you know, consciously trying to like, like choose or change and let go of, the, it's very, it's very interesting. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm fascinated by how much a huge part of me is kind of just like, you know, it's, it's like, no, but then like, there's another part of me, the higher self part of me that's like, I know what I'm doing here. And it's very interesting to watch these other parts just kind of like fade away. And um, this is the way that it works, literally. Again, what you're used to will use you. That's just the way that it is. If you're used to waking up in a state of fear, in a state of panic, anxiety, depression, all that stuff, low energy emotions, if you don't consciously change that stuff, 
it will just continue to repeat and recycle itself into your life and into your future. You see, um, if you want to create a predictable future, just bring energy from the familiar past. That's just all. That's that's it. It's that simple. Um, and you know, just like the way that I'm approaching things, like like I'm looking at specific emotions and stuff, and like, all right, I'm going to trade. I don't know what's a good one. I'm going to I'm going to trade frustration for gratitude. Ooh, I'm going to trade sadness for joy. Ooh, like that's you know. I just I think that this stuff is very interesting, um, because a lot of this stuff, a lot of these emotions, they end up just like generally showing up in life, and it could be as simple as okay, I was taught to see this, that, and the other in this low energy state. It's like, okay, well, it doesn't mean you have to. It just means you were taught to do that and you can unlearn that, right? So like in the moment when you're about to go into, I don't know, a low energy state, right? Just ooh, like change it. And then try to kind of, you know, kind of like go from there and like be like, I'm, you know, uh, I'm being triggered, right? I, um, I'm I'm being, you know, taken in by that. And usually what that would lead to is this emotional state. But instead I'm going to consciously change that. I'm going to choose it to be joy. Right? In, instead of instead of getting frustrated at this, I'm going to be grateful for all of like it's just it, it's it's all about consciously choosing the route to you know consciously choosing the emotion trading trading this emotion for that emotion I'm like wow like I never saw it that way like just you know just going about it in a different way it changes the dynamics of everything um, and uh, yeah my partner um, she even said to me that you know she was like thinking in terms of like future base and like you know just like 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 seeing yourself but not only seeing yourself feeling yourself here's here's the thing that's so interesting to me and I'll end off with this because it's very interesting um this whole idea of what you're used to will use you right people are often very used to being used by their emotions right something happens and an emotion arises within them right that's causing an effect. The cause is what happened, the effect is the emotional arousal, the emotional state. Um, when you flip that though, when you change it, and instead you use your emotions to project a future outcome, like wow, that's, that's wild. And it's possible too, like you can sit there in a meditative state generating gratitude and like, you know, feeling that in your heart and just like feeling that expansiveness and it changes everything. It's, it's crazy how this stuff works. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm, uh, I'm very excited to continue this journey, <laughs> but, uh, yeah.